Hello YouTube and fellow VW lovers. Now, this is a two-part series, a how-to series on replacing your distributor with a ready-to-run electronic ignition kit. So what we're going to be doing is in part one, we're going to remove the original distributor, uh, which has a points and condenser setup in it. And we're going to remove the original coil and HT leads as well. And then in part two, what we're going to do is install this CB Performance MagnaSpark kit. Uh, something which I just purchased. Uh, I have no affiliation with any companies. Um, it was time for a new distributor. So this should be a really interesting look at electronic ignition in general. And we'll probably do a third video where we'll go for a bit of a test drive. Uh, we'll do some more in-depth timing work with timing lights, etc. And we'll, we'll really just try and see what the difference is, uh, whether we do see a bit more performance and obviously some better reliability with a hotter spark. So let's get started. We'll head out to the combi and start taking bits off the engine. Now what we're going to do is correctly remove the distributor from the engine. So what we've done is we've disconnected the power. So the negative terminal of the battery has been disconnected. And now we need to line up the rotor with cylinder number one. So we're also out of gear because we're going to turn the engine over slightly. <clears throat> we're going to remove our distributor cap and we're going to look for a notch in the distributor body. It can vary, sometimes it's around the front here, sometimes it's not. On this aftermarket distributor, I can feel the notch is right back here. So this rotor tip now needs to line up with that notch. And then we know that the engine is ready to fire on cylinder number one. So I'm just going to gently turn the motor over with it out of gear. I may have gone past it there, but I'm also looking at my pulley marks. And I will now go in and have a check. So now we are pointing at cylinder number one here, which is the spark plug lead that runs to cylinder number one over in the back of the engine. So now we can take out the distributor. What we do, remove all of our vacuum lines and we need to remove the wiring as well from the negative side of the coil. Now we're going to take a 10 millimeter socket and remove the distributor as well. And out it comes. So now with the distributor out of the way, we can go ahead and remove the clamp from the engine block. There's a small 13 mil nut back here on a short stud. Uh, behind the fuel pump, so we can access that with a socket. Yeah, it is on an angle. I thought it was flush or flat, but it's not. There we go. Didn't want to round the nut off. <laughs> okay, that's nice and loose. We're going to keep that nut that's going to hold our new clamp in place and we take off our clamp and be careful not to drop the spring washer into the engine okay our distributor and clamps out of the way now we're just going to be cautious and put something in the hole so we don't drop anything down into the engine now we can look at taking away our ht leads from our spark plugs now, I do recommend at this stage, you may as well look at upgrading your spark plugs as well. We do have a video uh, on how to change spark plugs uh, in these four-cylinder upright V-dub motors. So check that out. Otherwise, now we're going to focus on uh, removing the coil. Now, on the coil here, we've got a positive and a negative side. And then, of course, our HT lead, which carries our spark down to our distributor cap. So. What we're going to have to do is just clearly identify uh, which lines are which. So in this case we've got positive here, one coming from our carburetor idle cutoff switch and one coming straight out of the top loom here. And then we've got one 
uh, earth wire, only one earth wire going onto the negative side of the coil. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to identify him because the rest are positive wires. Normally you may see a couple, as of course we did have uh, our original distributor set up on the negative side of the coil as well. That condenser is now being removed. So what I'm going to do is just put a bit of green tape around this wire just to help me remember that green is earth and that is to go on the negative side of the coil and these will go on the positive side of our new MagnaSpark power coil and of course if you get that the wrong way around you can immediately damage uh, your new coil so very very important to get these wires right so now that we know which are which we can just simply remove them of course we're not going to get a shock because we've disconnected our battery so we're perfectly able to just remove the wiring so now we can go ahead and remove our two 10 millimeter bolts that hold our coil and clamp in place Last but not least, we're going to remove our HT leads. So we just disconnect those at each, all four of the spark plugs. And then of course they clip in if you've still got your factory clips uh, in on the fan housing there. And sometimes it's easier to remove these uh, this way through the fan housing, especially uh, with these going behind your manifold and generator, etc. So sometimes take them through to the spark plug side. There we go. All the old parts gone. So make sure you stick around because in the next video, we're going to start upgrading and putting in our new distributor, new HT leads, and new coil. Hey, thanks for checking us out. I'm Ricky. We'll see you again.